everyone. It's a natural response for any creature to want to feel safe. Fear brings uncertainty, it brings anxiety, and it can have a major effect on how we and our dogs behave. Let's take a look at this basic need and how we can help our dogs to feel safe. So feeling safe is a fundamental need in order to have a happy and relaxed life. Feeling safe helps your dog to thrive and makes them more receptive to training and to learning. It's natural when your greyhound first arrives with you for it to take a while for them to feel safe in their new situation because it's been a huge change. And helping them to feel secure is a big part of supporting them as they settle in. Many undesirable behaviours stem from feeling anxious or fearful. And some can be obvious, such as a fear of thunder or loud noises, such as with Daisy here, who's really quite scared of the noise made by fireworks. And as we discovered in the summer, too much building work. And those are perhaps more obvious, but it can be a bit more subtle than that. So it, for example, resource charging and overreacting to strange dogs can also come from a sense of insecurity. You may think your dog is being deliberately awkward or stubborn or generally a pain in the proverbial, but there's a good chance that it's that feeling of insecurity in the situation that is at the bottom of what's going on. Now, fear of unknown things is a survival mechanism from deep in evolutionary history. And it's recognised that in a wild environment that more fearful individuals can have a better survival rate than those who are braver and more outgoing because those take more risks and sooner or later one risk is one risk too many but remember fear is not always rational and for our dogs we can't even try to reason with them even if we wanted to we can't explain it and tell them don't be silly it's just a spider it's just a lorry it's just a firework it's not possible it's totally individual and one dog may be quite curious about a particular thing that petrifies another just as it can with humans and just because you know it's safe it doesn't mean that they know it's safe so what can we do to help if we want to help our dog to feel more secure most importantly Remember, never force them to face their fear. This idea stems from a very old fashioned technique known as flooding, with the idea being that if they're exposed to it for long enough, they'll give in and accept it. But it actually can lead to trauma or even PTSD, just as it might in people. Always advocate for your dog. If you know they're going to hate something, then step in and try to prevent that. Like with Jimmy, he really doesn't like people he doesn't know. But because he's quite a pretty looking dog, people want to talk to him or they want to look at him. So if someone approaches him, I take steps to make sure they can't come too close to prevent eye contact and definitely make sure that they don't reach out and try and pet him. We want to allow our dog to try to make their own choices where possible because this does help to build confidence. But don't get too carried away. In kennels, greyhounds don't have a great deal of control and too many choices can be scary. We also should think about building consistency and building routines. Providing a structure gives something familiar. And if you think about a greyhound's life in kennels, that is very structured and that structure and routine helps them to feel safe. And remember, you cannot reinforce their fear. It's okay to comfort them if they're afraid, particularly if we focus on providing a calm, relaxing presence, a sense of security, or they're rocking a storm. And we're going to talk more about that in the next video. That's all for today. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Look out for new videos every Monday, and why not subscribe so you don't miss out?